I'm Tomasz Szafanaker, a meteorologist born in Gdańsk here on Poland's Baltic coast. For a native, I know far too little about Polish cuisine, so I'm going back to my roots to taste the best my country has to offer and to reveal the secrets of my homeland's landscapes. Well, Kosuvia is a historic region in the north of Poland. It's got its own tradition, language, and the landscape's peppered with forests, lakes, and a stretch of coast. I remember visiting the lakes as a child with my granddad. We used to go fishing, and whatever we caught, we would take home to cook. The exact borders of Kosuvia have altered over the years, but Kasubs have lived in these parts for over a thousand years. Every region in Poland has its own specialist dish. Dumplings or pierogi are ubiquitous along with sausage. But here in Kasubia, because we're so close to the coast, it's definitely fish, freshwater or marine. And they could be smoked, fried or pickled. And I'm going to taste the smoked variety later. But first, I'm going out onto the lake to find out more from local fish expert, Adam. Radoinski Lake is four square kilometers large. The deepest point is around 40 meters and its clear waters are a perfect habitat for freshwater fish. Let's just say that my fishing skills are a little rusty, so I'm relying on the guys out there to get something for lunch. This horn marks the beginning of each fishing trip, and Adam is telling me that we can expect to catch whitefish, pike, perch, and bream. The fishermen work in small boats with nets that span about 200 meters. No, i rybak może z nią w nią złowić nawet w tym roku mieli tonę 200 ryb w jednym zaciągu. Do you know, I had absolutely no idea that you can catch as much as 1.2 tons of fish in a single day. I think today we're going to catch about 100 or 200 kilos, which is, I'm sure, more than enough. I didn't have enough time to watch the fishermen reel in the catch of the day, but a lot of the fish that come out of these waters get smoked locally. Well, look at this beauty. Just got that now. And I'm off to see for myself. You know, smoking fish in this part of the world has been done for centuries. Anybody can do it, really. All you need is a small, basic smokehouse out in the back and a bit of patience. Now, I only tried my first smoked fish some years ago, and actually, you know what? It's really tasty, and I'm really looking forward to trying it again. There are basically two types of smoking, cold and hot. The cold method can take a couple of weeks. But with the hot method and a temperature of 70 to 80 degrees inside the smoker, your dinner can be ready in just a couple of hours. So can I try one then? Tak. OK, so this is the moment of truth. We've been out on the lake all morning. I'm going to pull out a bit of this smoked fish meat. There we go, a nice, good, juicy chunk. And before I try this, I can't believe that this fish, only 24 hours ago, was swimming in the lake. It's being smoked. Now I'm trying it. Here we go. That is good. Delicious.